Mr. Kainde Chilema was not an employee of Grand Thornton at the time the mortgage was placed by Mr. Samson Seattle. He was not an employee of Grand Thornton. Hakainde Chilema, if you may not be aware, he graduated from the University of Zambia in 1986. After graduating from the university, he was working somewhere else, not underground. That must be very clear to you, members of the press and the nation. The document is here, 1989. And as I indicated earlier, the decision to liquidate non performing parastatus was made by the MMD government after 1991. And during that period, Ms. Nawakwi was a member of the government. HH or Hagende Chilema was not part of the government. And we have heard her making insinuations, innuendos, that Hagende Chilema has the propensity of buying properties from poor people. That's what she has said. Trying to make the members of the public, the voters in this country, to hate Hakainde. She even went further to state that because Hakainde Hichilema has the propensity to buy properties from poor people, he should not be allowed to be president of this country. She went to state that if you vote for Hakainde Hichilema, he's going to be a monster in this country. It therefore follows that whatever Ms. Nawaku is doing in this matter has nothing to protect the rights of those individuals. What she's doing is to perpetrate her feelings, hateful feelings against her candidate that he must not be president of the Republic of Zambia. Is there any law in this country? members of the press, members of the public, which states that if the so-called poor people want to sell their property, others who are per perceived to be better off than them should not buy from them. Who will be buying properties from poor people when they have the right to sell? Is there any law which stops people from Ms. Nawakwi further went on to state that Hagainde Hichilema has a criminal mind because he has been buying property from Paul. There has never been, I repeat, there has never been any conviction against Mr. Hagainde in this country. We also have you know, when you live in a glass house, never throw stones. Never throw stones if you live in a glass house. She has said that he has a history of getting property from rich poor people. We want to ask you, and we want you to ask her how she had acquired a property on Katimuramuleo Road, which property was supposed to be for Ms. Naganyika, Skanyika, a very poor woman, a widow for that matter, a person who had no means to earn a living. She had got that property. If she believes that herself she's morally upright, how did she accept to get that property from that poor lady. It had to take the Supreme Court of Zambia
to retain the property to Mrs. Ganyama. Her Ganyama Islema has not been confined anywhere. His liberties has not been constrained in any way. For her to state that Hakainde Chilema has been running away, he is you know, he, hiding, he should be reporting himself to the police. Over what? Over what? He is a free person, he's moved, he's a, 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 the right to move within and outside the country without fear of any recriminations. Therefore, I was taken aback and saddened to see a prominent person, one well, person I consider to be quite prominent, you know, to, to lie publicly to the nation that there are people who are going through a criminal trial in the High Court in Choma. There's no High Court in Choma. You know, that was a minister for that. There's no High Court in Choma. There is only high court in Livingstone. Very strange, referring to Honorable Mwetu as MP for Karomo. Very, very strange indeed. I was very, very surprised. But I want to confirm to the nation through you members of the media houses that I have instructions through my clients, Foster Harianga and two others, including President Haga Inde Ichirema, to take out an action so that President, this, uh, whether I can call him President, the, the lady we respect, uh, it is now can exonerate herself and prove indeed that these people are still going through a criminal prosecution, first and foremost. Secondly, that they were they made a phone call to President Haga in the Ichirema and informed him that they have had caught a trespasser and the HH had told them that they should kill that person. Such statements are not only dangerous, they are not only hateful. They are only, not only deceptive, but are a total lie. And this should never come from persons of such a style. Those that we consider to be our leaders. Secondly, I want to inform the nation that um, part of my instructions are to find out from Honorable Nawabu, because she stated in her press conference that Feruna Hatem and Newton Hatem are actually uh, abducted and they have been kept in HH's residence. Very strange and weird allegation, which is not true. She also went to say that HH is the one who produced that video. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? But we will have a day in court. I just want to tell Ona Bonawaki that we have responded to her challenge, and very soon, and sooner than later, we'll be together in court to try and exculpate herself on those allegations. I had a printout here. I'm going to uh, share some of that information with you, the members of the, uh, the press. You have the ruling of uh, Justice uh, Lombe Piri, dated 20th January 2021. The case of Feluna. Her tempo versus her kind of hichlema is what we call at law feta complete. This case is finished. This case is water under the bridge. And if Nawaki continues running her mouth with regards to this case, for me, it's a sign that she's gone non compos mentis. <laughs> Ms. Nawaki has alleged that her kind of hichlema deliberately placed a caveat on Farm 1924 to give credence to his acquisition of the farm from the family, as said by my elder brother. The mortgage on that property was not put by Lima Bank in receivership. It was not put by the liquidators or receivers of Lima Bank, who were Chris Mulenga. It was not put by them. That mortgage was put by Lima Bank itself in 1989. If you want to know, HH graduated in 1986. 1989, thereabout, HH may have been doing his MBA in the United Kingdom, or he was an apprentice in the, in the United Kingdom. He was not there. Here is a printout. You give it to Edith Nawaki and tell Edith Nawaki to stop the nonsense, to stop the malice. K 
can she involve herself in issue-based politics? Politics that are about finding solutions to our country, not politics about uh, character assassination. Ms. Nawaku was saying that HH bought Farm 801 in Kalomo. He bought Farm 802, 803, 804. I think you know what I'm talking about. Let me put it on record. These farms are registered at Ministry of Lands, and the records are there for everybody to see. Farm 801 belongs to the Hambualula family. That is where the widow for Mr. Hambualula is, uh, is living. From 803, eight, from 804, belongs to the Mazuva family. Now, Bernard Mazuva and, uh, and, and uh, Feluna's uh, father were in-laws. Sorry, Bernard Mazuva and the Hambalulas were in-laws. Mr. Mazuva married Mr. Hambalula's daughter, Lavna. And Bernard Mazuva is the one who bought from 3275 from the Hambalulas. And Bernard Mazuwa is the one who sold that farm to Mr. Haka in the Hichilem. I want to explain to you that it is possible for a property to be bought by three parties. 